Good evening, Jessica Harmson with ABC News. 30 South Australian buildings, mostly apartment blocks, have been identified as a high or extreme fire risk because of combustible cladding. Seven buildings need immediate attention, but the state government won't say which ones, fearful it would incite arsonists. It's now up to individual owners to notify residents of problems and work out how to pay for the solution. Here's state political reporter Casey Briggs. A statewide audit was launched in mid-2017, the month after the Grenfell Tower disaster in London, which claimed 72 lives. Two years later, the government has now revealed seven buildings have an extreme fire risk with defects that require immediate action. None of these buildings uh, has been assessed and needing to have the occupants evacuated. All of these buildings uh, are buildings that in the short term are still able to be occupied. 23 more are at high risk, with action required on the non-compliant panels within a year. The properties are primarily multi-storey apartment buildings, but which ones, the government won't say. We don't want to put a massive sign on the front of a building to say to an arsonist, come here and you can wreak havoc. The building occupants might not even know yet. Councils are in the process of notifying private property owners. The minister wants them to tell their tenants. Any South Australian who lives in an apartment tonight going home has a right to know from their government whether or not the building that they're staying in, the building that their children are sleeping in is safe. I'm just a, a rental tenant, but um, yeah, we have a right to know, don't we? Like, it's very dangerous, I think. The Victorian government is spending hundreds of millions of taxpayer dollars to fix cladding in that state. But Stefan Canol says that won't be happening here. Property owners will be responsible for fixing their own buildings. This is a matter for the people that, that built the building uh, and for the people that insure the building and for the people that own the building. The opposition wants the government to step in. What is the government doing to assist those people who in good faith bought those buildings bought those uh, leases and tenancies. 96 other privately owned buildings with aluminium cladding have been assessed as low or moderate risk, with no further action to be taken. The government says a moderate risk is satisfactory. The department appears to be accepting a risk that, as far as we're aware, no one else in the world is prepared to accept. So we query that and say, why is that so? Firefighters will be given the details of the audit so they can send extra trucks to buildings with combustible cladding. And Casey Briggs is in the city. Casey, your story covered the issues with private residences, but are any public buildings at risk? Yes, Jess. The audit turned up two government-owned buildings assessed at high risk. One of those is a uh, building that's still under construction. The government says by the time that building's uh, finished being built, the risk will have been lowered. The other is a toilet block that has combustible cladding on its uh, facade and works already underway to remove that. But there were four other major public buildings with high traffic that were prioritised for investigation and revealed last year. One of those is the Adelaide Convention Centre. It's now undergoing some testing of the, uh, of the cladding panels on its facade uh, just to determine exactly how combustible uh, those panels are. But the government says it is rated at a moderate risk level. The Adelaide Oval also rated at a moderate risk level. It's uh, now investigating management of the Adelaide Oval are now investigating further works that could be done to bring that down to a low. The other two major buildings that were prioritised for investigation were hospitals, the Royal Adelaide Hospital and the Women's and Children's Hospital. The government says both of those have returned a low risk rating and Jess, they say no further action is needed.